Hey guys, Andy back here from Mediocre Hobbies bringing you another video in the uh, Horse Heresy Legion playlist. It is the 17th video that we've done for the playlist um, for the Legion color schemes anyway, so that means there's only one left after this. And for the 17th we're going to do the first Legion, so we're going to get into the Dark Angels. Um, a very different color scheme to their 40k counterparts with the dark metallic black scheme with the red iconography and some silver trim. So this is quite an interesting one. So stick around, check out the video and enjoy. Okay guys, time for the first Legion. That is of course the Dark Angels. We started with a coat of Chaos Black Spray and then we gave it a zenithal, kind of a heavy zenithal of Lead Belcher. We're gonna be more of a contrast in a minute and to make sure that the contrast sticks to the hydrophobic uh, spray stage. Hydrophobic just means that the paint, uh, it's very smooth and the paint doesn't have anything to grip to, so it likes to pool over the armor again. So give it a quick brush coat of Lead Belcher again, which just creates a slightly rougher texture across the armor. Which means that when I go to apply the contrast, which is going to be Black Templar, it sits very smoothly across the armor and it doesn't try and pull back together again and leave all of those. It's kind of that oil on water effect that it can happen and um, with contrast on metallic sometimes. So just a nice clean coat of contrast black templar all across the armor of this miniature this is one of those paint schemes um, in the heresy series that's going to be super super fast there's not going to be any relayering of the armor afterwards we're going to try and maintain that metallic look throughout the uh the video which means you're going to be a little bit more careful while applying the contrast that it doesn't pool or leave any brush strokes in any weird locations and that's not what we're looking for. Next, we're gonna move over to Lead Belcher and we're gonna apply this to all of the metallic parts of the miniature. Um, unlike some other legions who have a lot of gold, these guys don't have any. So we're gonna stick with Lead Belcher and apply that to shoulder trim, um, the, uh, extra detailing on the helmet, uh, the bolt gun parts, minus the casing, we'll have the casing in a minute. Um, and then I went for things like the backpack vents um, and stuff like that. So there's a few different bits and pieces to break up all the monotony of the black um, with some silver. Now, unlike every other bolt gun in this entire playlist, this one is going to be red. It's a kind of a traditional thing for the Dark Angels to have red bolt guns. And I think with a scheme this dark um, and this kind of without color, if you know what I mean, it's just black and silver, it would be kind of dull. Um, without a splash of color so we're going to go for a red bolt gun casing which obviously gives you somewhere for your eyes to focus on and it looks really cool okay with that that's all the base coats on so now just to finish off the black armor we're going to give it the an all-over coat of null oil this will sit really nice over the contrast black give you a really dark metallic look to the armor which i think screams dark angels after it's all dried, we will go in with a slight dry brush to catch those edges again. But um, yeah, I think this is quite an interesting way of doing the uh, dark armor of the Legion of Black Templars, or sorry, of the Dark Angels. So while this is drying, we're also going to get the miniature all based up. Okay, guys, while we're waiting for that shade to dry, just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the video this far. If you are enjoying the content, make sure you hit the like button. If you're enjoying what I do here on the channel as a whole, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified for all future videos. So you don't miss anything. If you have any questions about anything I do in this video or any previous videos, just drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to each and every one of you guys. And if you see real value in what I do and want to contribute to me and the Media Copies project, there's links to things like my Patreon and that below. Thank you guys so much and let's get back to the video. Okay, and with the shade dry and the miniature base, this is the color armor that we are left with. Like I said before, just to add a little bit more flair back into it, we're going to use Lead Belcher, and we're going to give it a very light dry brush all across the armor, catching those raised edges. It acts kind of like a cheeky edge highlight, only it takes about 1% of the time of an edge highlight. You don't need to go crazy, just bits that are going to catch the eye. This is one of those schemes which um, I'm slightly more concerned about with the new mark of power armor being brought out. With the fact that there is no shoulder trim, these miniatures are going to be kind of black from head to toe. So I don't know where you're going to get those kind of metallic accents to the color scheme. 
And I am looking forward to seeing what people will do with that. Did they just give them an entire silver shoulder pad? Is that what's going to happen? I don't know. So the light silver dry brush work to treat for this. And now we're going to go back in with the lead belcher again, but this time instead of a dry brush, we're going to do a layering job. And we're going to touch up all the bits that were metallic from the basing stage. So the shoulder trim, the parts on the bolt hood, and all those extra parts of the backpack. This will just neaten up the uh, the paint job a little bit. Dry brushes are all well and good over metallic, but for something like this, you kind of want a nice cleaner look on things like the shoulder trim and that, the T visor part. It is such a dark scheme so I will at some stage be adding some transfers to this in a few minutes which will of course make add another pop of color. The interesting thing is that the Legion uh, Dark Angel symbols from the Heresy are uh, in red as well so that will match in with the bolt gun and things like his eye lenses. And that's another thing we will be doing with the lead belcher paint here is we're going to paint in the eye lenses of the helmet with lead belcher so that we can come in with a contrast later on. Okay, time to move on to Mephiston Red, and this is what we're gonna be used to layering up that bolt gun, or the casing of the bolt gun. Just a nice quick layer job. You can leave that water uh, shaded down, corn red, and all the recesses inside the gun port, stuff like that. It's just the larger, flatter areas that we're gonna hit with uh, Mephiston Red. This is a very quick stage, is when you wanna be a little bit more careful, you don't wanna hit the fingers, you don't wanna have any metallic parts, as those are pretty much finished at this point. You don't want to be adding time to uh, your scheme, going back and fixing things like that. Like I said, we're 90% of the way through this scheme. And I think for the horse heresy, I think it's going to be super important for a lot of people to have these quick accessible schemes. Painting up an entire legion's worth of space marines is going to take an awfully long amount of time. But if you could bash out your infantry kind of 10 guys at a time in an evening, that would be super helpful, I feel. So blade edge around contrast is what we're going to drop into those lead belchered eye sockets just to give them the uh, the look of glowing red eyes. And then once that is done, all we're going to do is throw on some transfers, which of course add another nice splash of color. And with that, I'm going to call this 30K Dark Angel complete. I quite like the look of it. It's battered and bashed and ready for war. Something that if you deploy it on mass, are gonna look pretty sweet. I realized after I'd recorded it that my 360 here has a, a bit of a light shine from the right side, which is making the miniature glow a little bit. So hopefully you don't take away from it that this is how the model looks. <laughs> I go from the previous clip. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this rendition of the first Legion. The 30k Dark Angels. I hope you guys found it useful and can see yourselves painting up your Dark Angels similarly. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video and I will catch you in the next one.